Hi guys, what is up? How are you doing? In this video, I want to talk about Web 3.0, but from a developer's perspective, right? So there are many videos on Web 3.0 on YouTube, but everybody talks about um, the economics and I don't know, the social sciences, I don't know, all that uh, bullshit. And you don't need all that fluff, right? As a developer, you want to know how, like what it is for you and how can you probably profit from it in the future, right? So uh, this video is more of a developer's perspective of Web 3.0. Now, the main confusion that developers have right now is that let's say Facebook is coming up with their own metaverse, uh, Nvidia is coming up with Omniverse, uh, Microsoft uh, is coming up with their own metaverse, right? And then you, uh, you have Fortnite, Roblox, and uh, social media sites like Octo, or it's Octo. Octai, Octo, something like that. It's a blockchain-based uh, social media. So there are all these different blockchain-based metaverses springing up, right, to, uh, to life. And um, so how does one navigate through this? And how does how does somebody make sense of it? So basically, what I'm saying is, as a developer, all that you need to understand is that all of these companies are going to have their own metaverses, which uh, you can call the metaverses or their own universe, which is blockchain-enabled or, or based on blockchain. So for example, Fortnite, uh, or Roblox, it's going to have their own universe, right? And it'll be completely blockchain uh, based universe. Uh, so that, you know, you can identify each, every single user and every single user owns their own data. That's why it's going to be blockchain based. And um, no one company is going to own the entire metaverse, right? All these different companies, or, or you can say, no, one company is going to uh, own the entire Web 3.0, right? Web 3.0 is going to be completely decentralized. So uh, that means that, uh, you know, Fortnite has their own blockchain based universe going on. Roblox has their own and social media sites like Octo, they have their own. And then you can draw Facebook and Microsoft and Nvidia, all of that. It all makes, uh, you know, it's all basically the same thing. And what's happening here is that um, Web 3.0 is the internet of different blockchains, right? So this is a different blockchain running. This is a different blockchain running, complete separate platforms. But the internet between them is uh, basically this whole internet, right, of different platforms is going to be Web 3.0. And this is going to exist alongside Web 2.0. And so there won't be like, you know, Web 2.0 doesn't exist anymore. And now you just have Web 3.0. It's not like going to be like that. Web 3.0 is going to exist uh, along with it. But there, you will see a lot more people trying to build Web 3.0 startups now uh, from next year, right? As people understand what this is and how it's going to work and people, you know, um, stop getting confused about, you know, will Facebook own the entire metaverse? Will Nvidia own everything? It's not going to be like that, right? So uh, the main part is that the user, you uh, the user is going to own their own data and then they're going to uh, be able to move between Fortnite, Roblox and social media like Octo with their own identity. Uh, and it's, it's going to be very easy, right? So it's not like Fortnite is going to own your data or Roblox or Octo or Facebook or whatever. Uh, you're going to own your own data and you're just going to move between the, these different blockchains using this Web 3.0 connection layer, whatever. And um, and and you'll be able to use that same, you'll be the same avatar in different uh you know, metaverses, right? So, and this is why NFTs are so important. You buy clothes here, uh, let's say you're a character and you want to buy clothes, which will be NFTs, right, in the metaverse, so, or you want to buy some goggles or you want to buy uh, a cap or something like that, right? It's all merchandise. And uh, you can use that same here in Roblox as well, right? So NFT, um, since it's unique, uh, you, you can have it uh, in all the blockchains that you become a part of or you you know plan to go on. So that's that's what you need to know from a developer's perspective, right? So all of these are different blockchains, different um, you know entities connected together, and nobody, no one company owns everything. Everything is decentralized. The user owns everything, right? So that's what you need to know from a developer's perspective. Now, what in so what's the opportunity here in the sense? Now that you know all this, what can you do with this information, right? So opportunity for developers specifically is that uh, now a lot of people are going to be building a lot of blockchain startups and you should probably build a blockchain app. So uh, the easiest way uh, to go about it is that like, let's say something that exists in Web 2.0, you can change it and bring it into Web 3.0. I'll give you an example. Somebody just built a taxi sharing, uh, taxi uh, hailing application just like Uber, but they built it in Web 3.0, completely blockchain based, where uh, the drivers, um, you know, uh, own the platform and not the platform. Uh, you know, the platform doesn't get rich, the drivers get rich, right? So, um, so they just, I think in Bangalore, they just came up with a plat with a uh, you know Web 3.0 platform for uh, cab sharing. So you can check out these different opportunities coming up where people are taking just simple Web 2.0 concepts and bringing them into Web 3.0, right? So that you can build your own blockchain apps and this is going to be a huge opportunity. So everything is going to come again. It's going to be a complete loop and a circle coming up and you can make a lot of money here. And then you can also 
uh, now that you know now that you know that a lot of people are going to be wanting to build their own web 3.0 um, websites or places right web 3.0 places uh, just like web 2.0 you might want to build apis that facilitate others to make blockchain apps right so as a developer you can it's very easy for you to build apis that can basically facilitate uh, others to make blockchain apps like you know you can have your own backend as a service or your own apis that help them do that whatever right so that's a huge opportunity and then um, you can build blockchain app for others so you don't have to build your own startup you can become just a services company or like a freelancer or a consultant and you can build blockchain apps for other people right you can provide them services because everybody is going to be uh, a blockchain startup uh, in very soon that at least that's what i feel right and um, then you can have nfts later start so nfts and blockchains are very very closely related because uh, if you want to uh, roam around between these metaverses you need to buy a lot of nfts um, you know just to be able to uh, in case in case you you don't understand how important nft is you need to read this book called snow crash it's a very important very uh, nice book it's a fiction book but uh, if you read it you will understand uh, why nfts are very important so he doesn't um, call it nfts per se but he but you'll understand like you know the, everything that you buy in one game you can just you know start living in the metaverse with and uh, you basically appear to be much cooler and you get a lot of swag yeah, if you have all that merchandise on you right so it basically adds to your social um what do you call it social image having all of those nfts just read the book snow crash you'll understand what i'm trying to say so this is the whole opportunity that you have as a developer now how do you get there so what's the process to get there the process is that first you need to learn a lot of blockchain basics and on this channel i'll be teaching uh, blockchain basics but uh, more than that more importantly i'm coming up with three different courses on blockchain one will be uh, where we'll uh, build a complete blockchain from scratch second will be where we'll build an, an, a complete nft um, marketplace third will be where we'll build a complete decentralized tech kind of a platform where we'll take a web 2.0 uh, platform like udemy and bring it to web 3.0 right so we'll do that entire thing and then fourth would be something uh, i know i said three but i i'll have one more like fourth that i have in mind it should be somewhere something to do with private blockchains like hyperledger uh, fabric and all those things right so i have four projects in mind right now laid out that i'll be bringing out on this um, channel and i have i plan to do a lot with uh, web 3.0 by the way so i think the spelling of ether was wrong yeah so i just corrected that anyway the, so the process uh, which is basically first you need to learn some blockchain basics then you'll need to learn about smart contracts i'll cover all this on my channel so there'll be a lot of videos coming up uh, so in, in case you haven't subscribed you need to subscribe right now because all this awesome content is coming up very soon on this channel then you'll need something that interfaces with those blockchain apps right you need etherjs or web3.js these are two libraries uh, js based libraries that you need understanding of and the fourth thing that the most important thing that you need is solidity which is basically the language for uh, ethereum right to build ethereum smart contracts so you need some information about solidity so i'll cover all of these different topics um first and then like i'll make about 10 15 videos about all of this covering all of this and then we'll start basically um building those four different projects that i talked about all right so this is the process once you go through this process you will uh, basically be you know able to take a lot of advantage of the opportunity that's coming up very soon and uh, i hope you understood um, at least a little bit from the developer's perspective and even if you don't understand anything right now not a problem because once you go through all these videos with me or if you subscribe to my channel you'll go through all these videos with me you'll understand exactly what's coming up and why it's so important right so um, thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next video